instantly, um, thankfully, our, our person who monitors Twitter, and again, we only have about two people that are constantly monitoring, so it, it all, it's only taking two people, but we, they were in the space and they caught this immediately, thank goodness, immediately reached out to him but the interesting thing too was our customers out there were seeing this and they were like, hey Southwest, do you know this guy's talking really bad about you? So our customers that are loyal to us were concerned and so um, Christy, one of the things she responded said, we are monitoring every single tweet. We know that this is going on. We're trying to reach out to him. So you know, we responded to him on Twitter. We actually used our Nuts blog to respond. So these channels are kind of creating new ways for us to reach back out um, so the public can see too. Instead of issuing a public statement, we used our NUTS blog um, and, and sent it, basically apologized and still asking him to reach out to us. So even through all of these methods, we didn't hear back from him once, which was interesting. Um, he didn't engage back at all. We tried to call him. Um, so everything we could to reach out, um, we did. Um, and kind of looking back, um, some people, you know, NPR reached out to us from other companies just congratulating us on instantly engaging and reaching out. And even though we didn't get a response, um, you know, and even though it was kind of stressful with all the negativity out there because his followers were saying bad things about Southwest as well, you know, just how we handled it um, and being there, you know, to evolve. It's not just issuing a public statement, you know, a lot, that was another thing too. We didn't have a ton of media calls on this because we were already responding in the space online and we posted something on our blog. 